All right, first off, I guess, uh, how well do the Tigers and Gators match up against each other? I think it's a, uh, it's a good matchup for us. Defensively, they, uh, you know, they are very, very, very good. They're obviously the best team in the conference defensively, in my opinion. But I really think that, you know, they're, they're a smaller, faster team. Hopefully we are able to establish the run game up the middle and uh, create them, creating some pressure so we can get the ball down the field. Kind of the formula that we've used for success the whole year. Um, so we match up well there. On the defensive side, Florida's scheme offensively is a lot more simplistic than some of the teams we play. So therefore, I expect it to be a much more sort of physical game than a mental game. We've had enough of those uh, to, to confuse our young defense and our guys that you know are trying to you know, trying to get out there and establish their identity and establish themselves. So I think we match up well on both sides. Zach Medberger, LSU offense, putting up some record numbers, obviously so far this year. Um, any reason to see, you know, any kind of step back against uh, obviously probably the best defense they've faced all year or, or may face all year? Well, I think Zach's going to face his toughest challenge because. You know they're going to be able to put some pressure on him, and they're going to. Uh, I think they're going to cover on the outside better than, than some of the teams we play. So you know he's going to have to learn to, to come down to the second and third guy when they're not there. Uh, hopefully he will. Uh, he'll be able to do that. Uh, move around in the pocket a little bit, buy himself an extra second or two to throw the ball. So you know he's he's getting better at some of the things that uh, you know have challenged him. It's going to be a test for him this week because I don't think it's going to come quite as easy, and he's going to have to make some plays. Well, before I let you go. This Florida uh, offense, not the Percy Harvins, Tim Tebow's uh, anymore, but what kind of potency do they have uh, with that young quarterback in the mix? They've got some uh, big play capabilities, obviously. Uh, breaking the pocket, making plays. Uh, we got to keep containment, making throw it out of the pocket when they're, uh, when they're in it. And, and I think at the end of the day, we, we match up well simply because what you see is what you get with them. It's, you know, there's some read option, there's some things that they do that could cause us a little bit of problem, but there's not a sophisticated you know, passing game that goes along with their package, nor do they, you know, do a whole bunch of, uh, you know, multiple formations and things that cause, you know, cause some problems for our young defense. So, you know, I, I think they're good, but they're manageable by our, by our guys. Mickey, thanks so much. All right, thank you.